services, Q washers, eBay and YouTube. What we're looking at here is a Nova 2. This is the Mark 1 uh, version on the machine itself. You've got the ST261 unloader system in, you've also got the safety valve here. Now what we're going to do is show you how to set the system up with hot on the setup itself and, and how it all works. So the first most important part in setting the unloader up is to make sure that we look at the pump itself and it's a W98 so that machine's 11 litres under a bar. So the jet that's going to go into the end of the lance is the most important part. Setting up any pump, any pressure washer is the jet size. So the, the jet that's in there at the moment, 1505, obviously the angle is the 15, the 5 is the size of it. So we'll turn this machine on to cold then on to hot. So what we want to do is get this machine working on hot as well. So we've got heat expansion to set the safety valve. This is the blow off valve. So as a look at this unloader here and the safety valve, there's your safety valve and this is your unloading valve here at this point. Now as you look at this, you'll see that that is a locking off nut if you wanted to, but this, this here then, that we're unscrewing off, is the unloading adjusting valve. Now I've taken the grub screw out of the system. So the grub screw that would go in there, it means that we've got this system here that's fully adjustable now. And the little grub screw is there to lock it off afterwards. Now when this system is like it is at the moment, you've got your plastic part here. You then we've got the unloader with a spring on. Now that there can also be adjusted so you can put another locking nut on there so it means that when you set this unloader it doesn't over pressure by putting another locking nut on. We're not going to go to that trouble, we'll just set it up as normal. So plastic part and what we're going to do is then set this up I'm just going to put the grub screw in. The flat sides on the on the face of the brass part. So what we'll do is make sure that's lined up to the brass part, which is there. We'll then just lock that off a second. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because you'll see why. So as I tighten that back down now, you'll see that brass part is only going so far on to that locking up to that nut. And it's locked off. Now if I take that grub screw out, again now, and what we do is look at the pressure gauge as well and watch what the pressure gauge is doing. So it's all to do with the gun, what we're going to do is get this machine at 200 bar first of all, working. So what I'll do is turn the machine on and we'll take the box on the system itself. So we'll pull the trigger. Now, 
obviously three boxes in place. If this would normally go into this point here, I'll go down onto the floor. So I still need to turn that ever slightly a little bit more. And we'll go again. We'll let go of the trigger. We've got still a slight spurt, so I'm just going to give it that little bit more. Nothing. So we'll go back ever so slightly. Pull the trigger again. And we'll run the machine we need to to get the boiler warm so we need to expansion inside that boiler. And what we're also about is no water. Coming from there we're going to pull the trigger. Hello, so what we're talking about here is the Sutton ST261 unloaders and a lot of other unloads in the marketplace as well that work the same way. So what you simply got there is you've got the unloader valve and you've also got the pressure switch on the unloader that causes that machine to stop and start. On the ST what can happen sometimes is you've got the little switch inside here and this brass housing. That red part that's inside there can sometimes stick with corrosion. Sometimes what we do is we take this little red part and just file it down so it's running smoothly in the housing of this. So what we'll simply do is explain how it works. So when you come to set your machine up, you normally need a message to make the machine start. So what you've simply got is a switch that's normally opening or normally closed. So as you can hear there, we've got a message. If we push against this red part, when you let go of the trigger on your machine, the machine stops. Pull your trigger and the machine starts because the pressure's off the system. So as you can see on the multimeter and the noise, you're getting the signal. Obviously there on the wires, you've, got, you've also got your earth wire. We cut this one off here because obviously that is not normally used and put a connection over because obviously that is the opposite way around. But then the two ways you normally use to make the machine stop and start. So what simply happens is you need a message to make the machine start when there's no pressure on the system. If we push this unloader, so if we let pretend it's pressing against the unloader and it's pressurised up with no message, so the machine automatically stops. If you've got a leak on the system, sometimes what we've also got is a non-return in that unloader as well. So if the machine is, that could be a pressure problem within the system itself from the trigger to the unloader. It's making the machine surge, jip, jip, starting, stopping, jip, jip, stopping and starting. And that is the pressure switch that's controlling that and inside the ST261 you've got a non-return valve in there and it can be that that's causing the problem as well to make that machine surge all the time continuously thank you very much Q Washers Q Services eBay and YouTube